Um, next up, we have Ma, who is from the Heston Action Group, and she is interested in all things green and how we can bring uh, communities and nature together. So uh, please, a round of applause for Ma. Hello, hi. Um, my name is Mar. I'm not just representing myself. I'm, only, I'm also with Heston Action Group. We call the Hacks. And this is Alma, and this is Michael. And our talk is about what if we use a network of green corridors to connect with our neighbors ar across London. Now, let me tell you quickly a little story. When I was a little growing up in Spain, we used to be told that a squirrel you, um, in the Middle Ages used to, um, was able to go from one end to the other of Spain without ever leaving the ground. Now, I've heard that story being told about in many different countries. The Americans claim that their squirrels went from east to, to west without ever touching the ground. Now, what I want to... to um, to evoke the imagery is how beautiful that would have looked like, how beautiful it would have been being a squirrel and being able to cross from one piece of the land to another without ever touching the ground or without ever uh, leaving the, um, the area. So um, I want to introduce you here a lovely dot, uh, all London green grid, uh, and what you can see very clearly the bits of London that are green. Now, my proposal is to do the following. What if we could join the dots? And by joining the dots, we will enhance people walking in the outdoors, being able to be from one place to another, be able to go to work from one place to another without ever moving from, without ever touching um, the road, for instance. Um, so we live in, a, in an area of London where, for instance, Michael, he's going to tell us about that. He walked from his house to the tube station. And he didn't need to take the bus. He didn't need to um, take the tube. And we want to create a London where all of us have the opportunity to use the um, London metropolitan land and green corridors to walk from one place to another, to meet people through walk in the green land and this is within our reach and we want the new generations to be able to um, be able to walk places without um, without touching concrete or pavement sorry thank you um, so Mar just touched on what we were here to talk about linking all of the green spaces across London and in doing so, linking with all of the various community groups that are doing the wonderful work of greening our environment. So Heston Action Group have already started along that path. We've identified a public rights of way within our immediate community, which link into some existing networks of pathways which encourage cyclists, people with uh, buggies to get out and exercise. And we held a hag hike last weekend. Um, Heston is an area with a high diversity uh, in the population. Uh, we are a global part of the global city of London. And we have worked hard to engage with people from different backgrounds, who, many of whom were a little bit uh, reluctant to use these public rights of way. Uh, so we, we basically set off from our local church, uh, walked along the footpaths, and within two minutes we were in the middle of wild open fields which link into Austerley Park, which is a national, park, uh, um, national trust park. We had a fantastic day. We engaged with people from different backgrounds. Uh, crucially, some of those people had said that if they had been on their own, they would have been afraid to walk through the long grass. At the end of that, we asked them, would you do it again? The answer was yes. Uh, we were able to educate some of the young children about the various insects, flora and fauna in the area, and reaching out to a community that doesn't always ne necessarily engage with nature. So that's basically what we're about. Um, we would like to invite everybody right across London to try and do identify public rights of way that might be underutilized or left to overgrow. Nothing wrong with that, but 
we want to try and get people to go out, rediscover those forgotten public rights of way, explore them, uh, utilize them, and if possible, bring them back into regular use as a way of avoiding using the main roads. As you mentioned, I walked the tube station this morning, walked out of my back door, took the public footpath, and in 15 minutes, I was at the tube station without ever actually touching a, a, a road. And with that thought, I'd like to pass you over to Mar, who's going to leave you with a, a parting message. What if hedgehogs could travel from Heston to Hammersmith without, without crossing the roads? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. That was a really wonderful talk. And I think with so much uh, outdoor space now going into private hands, I think it's more important than ever to really hold on to those public rights of way. So thank you very much for putting those in the frame.